All right, let's roll. Yep. For the tens and tens of you watching right now, I have too many ADAP systems, one on my right and one on my left. And you would not be able to tell which one is 3 8 from the surface level. Well, you did put the sticker on and uh, it does say 3 8 so there's that. Uh, we also have this sign. So, figured that one out. Yeah, we got it. It is getting hot out today. It's like 80 degrees. I'm glad I got my hat, but man, I am sweating. Yeah, you, you think it's a sweatshirt, maybe? That might, might do it. The two plates on the table. The one on my right is a 3 8 inch mini ADAP. The one on my left, this is a half inch mini ADAP. Otherwise, they are identical in shape, how they mount, the attachments, and the finish. But the one on my right is approximately $50 less at the time of making this video than the half inch. The question is, which one's right for you? All right, wait, hold up, hold up. So like, it doesn't matter? What well, doesn't matter? Like, like the size difference? Oh, she doesn't care about an eighth of an inch. Texting Darren because I need a new black hoodie. He's got to pull one from inventory. Uh, I'm also out of Red Bull. Can someone hit me with some water? water. Hey. So the best part of these two systems, as shown here, on my left, a regular one with a half inch and a wood post and a top bracket and base. Here we have a 3 8 with the armor post and hostage and breakdown base. They are interchangeable with all the accessories. The only difference is the thickness of steel, but the grade of the steel is the same. Yes. What? You don't say. You don't say. You don't say. Who was it? He didn't say. Now, the hostage bracket's loose. It's not normally supposed to be like that, but somebody on the team, whose name we will not speak, forgot the tools again. Josh. It was Britain. Josh forgot the tools again. It was again. Josh. It was Josh. But everything's interchangeable. So in the interest of explaining further what these targets are all about, I wanted to talk a little bit about the warranty because we do have warranties on our products. On the 3 8 inch products, we've got a three year warranty for the Mini 8 app. On the half inch AR550, we've got a lifetime warranty. So you're still probably debating which one is right for you. They're very similar, and they also ring very similarly. But I'm gonna show you that real quick with the 300 Blackout. What's going on, Wilson? Yo! Have a good weekend. Now we've established that the ring between the two the ring between the two different thicknesses of steel is nearly identical. The price point of the 3 8 a little bit less. They both have a warranty. They're both made of the same high quality steel. Now I think it's time to do some weapon testing. Obviously, nine millimeters not gonna do anything to the target, but we are gonna step it up a notch with the 556. 10.3 inch 556 just it's just not that impressive, but let's jump up to a 16 inch machine gun. So 
So before the naysayers say, oh, there's no way you shot that without getting any damage, this is obviously not recommended, don't do what I just did. But right here you see the 3.8 AR-550 target, there's the 3.556 impact, there's nothing but a little ball of lead stuck to the plate. So I wanted to show you that before we jump to the 16 inch machine gun. Not recommended on the 3.8, still too close for half inch, but neither target has flinched at all up to this point. Now that we got the 16 inch out of the way, we're gonna be doing some 12 gauge. We had a malfunky. Oh, I have it on high brass setting. That's not okay. Hang on a second there, boys. That's what I'm talking about. So that was bird shot on three eighths. Let's do bird shot on half inch. This is buckshot. That was satisfactory. On the three eighths, it's good. Let's do the half inch. I concur, that was nice. Let's do slugs. Little one and three quarter, one ounce slugs. They don't cycle this shotgun, but they're fun. All right, mini slugs. Oh, double feed. You can't send two slugs like that. That's not okay. All right, we're back in action. That was the three eighths. Let's try the half. Did it cycle? It cycled. Oh my gosh. What? It jammed. So, no damage from the slugs. I mean, those are mini slugs, but it did leave a little present here. There's like some fused lead stuck to that target plate. That's pretty neat. Half inch fine, three eighth inch fine. Let's go do some big slugs. Holy cow, that's violent. That was nice. Let's go down range. So those were the full power slugs and man, it rocked this thing because I ended up hitting him in the face. So, sorry little buddy. Way closer than recommended. Not damaged at all from the slugs. Same thing with the half inch. Smashed him right in the face there, but no damage, no dents or anything. Good to go. It was 405 grain bullets on the 3.8. Let's do the half inch. Oh, did you see the sparks off of that one? That'll do it. So we were at 30 yards there with 405 grain bolts from a 4570. There's a little impression, little impression. The half inch though, there's nothing going on. So this is where you start to see some of that extra strength from the half inch. However, you find me another 3 8 inch AR550 target on the market that could take that at an improper distance like that. I won't wait because you won't find it.
308. Three eighth inch AR five fifty. Let's do the half inch. One more for good measure. Malfunction. Oh. One more for good measure. Oh, one more for good measure. Now we're done. I hit that thing like seven times, the 308. What is that, like 20 yards? Yeah, so the 38s, couple little impressions. Those were uh, 150 grain soft points. Minor little impressions on the 3.8s. Again, still using this way outside of the parameters we recommend. Half inch has some tiny little impressions at 20 yards, and I did nick the edge, there's a little tiny chip. But I put like six or seven rounds on this thing, and there's nothing. So that's pretty cool. It's fancy, real fancy. So even though the 3.8 inch is an eighth of an inch, thinner, it is still an extremely strong system. So if you are a pistol shooter, you shoot with shorter rifles like a 10.3 inch 5.56 or a lot of 300 blackouts, things like that, I would say consider the 3 8 inch. I don't think I did justice over the years. I think I steered too many people away from it. You can save yourself some money, still get a three year warranty on the Mini 8 app and the C-Zone 8 app systems, and they're just going to serve you really well. If you're shooting rifles, 50 yards is the distance with the 3 8 so you do have to shoot a little bit further. But if you're using those kinds of weapons, this is a perfectly acceptable target system. If the money isn't an objective and you can pay the little upcharge and you want a little bit thicker plate, one you can shoot a little bit closer, the half inch is a little bit more resistant to bending and pits than the 3 8 inch AR-550. But at the end of the day, they're both a high quality system that we've poured our blood, sweat and tears into designing and engineering systems that are safe and will work for you. Just keep in mind everything that we did in this video, it's not recommended. Follow all the distance recommendations on the sticker and on our website. We appreciate you guys. You probably will not see me in this outfit next time, but we'll catch you in the next video. Yo, we good for the day? Yeah, I mean, we got the video footage. We got the thumbnail. I think we got all the shots that we needed. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure we're good to go. We cleaned up all the guns. So if you don't need anything else from me, do you? No, I think I'm good. All right, sick. Well, then I guess I'll uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. Yep, see you tomorrow.